The first process EDM1 has three practices which are, evaluate the governance system, direct the governance system, and monitor the governance system. The second practice has an objective to ensure that structures and practices are guided in line with the governance principles. This practice receives no input from other practices or external sources. However, it generates two outputs which are, the enterprise governance communications which is used by several other processes, and the reward system approach which is used by AP07. The activities of the practice include communicating the governance principles, and ensuring that the leadership is committed. The governance structures and processes are to be established, and responsibilities and accountabilities should be assigned. The personnel should abide by professional and ethical behavior. In case of non-compliance, adequate consequences should be applied, and in case of achieving desirable attitude, personnel should be distinguished within a reward system. The third practice's objective is to ensure that the performance of IT governance is as expected, and to regularly assess the system and the established structures and processes. This practice receives several inputs, such as the performance reports from MEA1, the results of benchmarking and the results of reviews of self-assessments from MEA2, the compliance confirmations from MEA3, and audit reports from external sources. It generates one output which is the feedback on governance performance, to be used by all EDM processes. The activities of this practice include assessing the performance of stakeholders with IT governance responsibilities, and assessing the effectiveness of the established structures and processes. The satisfaction level of IT complying with regulatory and legal obligations is to be monitored as well. For more guidance on the establishment of this process, other resources could be consulted such as COSO documentation, the King 3 standard, and ISO 38500.